I'm gonna go surprise my dad at work and probably embarrass him in front of all of his friends. They'll all be thinking, did you fornicate with a poodle? How did this offspring come to be? If you haven't filled out the husband application yet, there's a link down in the description. Only serious applicants, please. Montana Dana and on today's episode of Girl vs. Van, I make it home to Montana for a family reunion. I'm in charge of cleaning the house. I help my dad when he sprains his knee. And I'm pretty sure Montana's trying to kill me one sneeze at a time. Subscribe for daily videos. <sighs> Good morning, friends. Yes, I slept on my bed as a couch last night. It is allergy season here in Montana. I don't really want to talk about it. What I do want to talk about is this view. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Can I get to my door? Hello. Excuse me. I hope no one's standing out there because I'm totally in my undies right now, but check out this view. Oh my gosh. It's not unlikely to open your door and see elk or deer standing out here. This morning is just me and my undies. Got a little hot in here last night. It started to rain, so I closed my hatch. And it got a little steamy. All but steamy. Today's the day, guys. Today is the day. Ooh, today's the day we wash the hair. It got a little greasy. Today is the day I fix a bunch of stuff in the van. It's been way too long. We're gonna clean out the fridge because all of juice spilled in there a long time ago. It smells real bad. Also, my Jackery died and it is no longer working, so everything in there is spoiled. Gonna finally get a latch for this thing. You know how it goes. First, I'm gonna make my coffee. Edit between three and eight hours. It just depends. And I'm gonna take you guys into L Town. Livingston is where I'm from. It's a cute little town. If you like Pomida, there's just nothing to do there. This doesn't even look like real life. It's insane. You look at Montana right now, it's all sunny and green, and foresty and beautiful. It's like this for about two weeks a year. It's winter for eight months like freeze your dick off winter, like 12 below zero at least. And then two weeks from now, the fires are gonna start. Everything's gonna turn a poopy brown color. Smokey the Bear's gonna go ape shit and you're just, it's not gonna be a good time. But it is beautiful right now, I can tell you that. There are some flowers in there. I want to go smell them. But I'm gonna go lock myself inside of a house. We are going to go edit for the next eight hours of our lives. Taking a little break from editing. Gonna come sit out on this beautiful porch. Holy balls. It's so pretty. I love these Adirondack chairs. So cute. So peaceful. Hi birdies. Maybe we'll see a wild animal. I'm just gonna play dead over here until we see a wild animal. got in the mail. My friend Renee from middle and high school sent me this, an outdoor shower. How cool is this? I'm pretty sure it's a solar shower. So you fill up this bag. You probably put your undies right in there. Hang it on the door. I think you put the little spigot right there, turn it on and you have yourself an outdoor shower. Cannot wait to try this. Thank you, Renee. That was so sweet of you. I can't wait to use it. Not gonna use it today. I'm gonna use it tomorrow, actually. I wanna test it out at my dad's house before I go full on nature with it. It's really compact, but it's way bigger than I expected. It's got a whole lot of water. Thank you so much, Renee. That was really sweet. You guys, I got in a fight today with my crimping iron. You tell me who won. I think it's pretty obvious. We're just channeling our inner Julia Roberts from Pretty Woman. So we're gonna rock that energy today. I wonder if a hat would help. Do you think a hat would help? Hat does not help. Maybe an even bigger hat will help. I can't even put my hat on. Not impressed, not impressed. Well, I'm gonna go surprise my dad at work and probably embarrass him in front of all of his friends. They'll all be thinking, did you fornicate with a poodle? How did this offspring come to be? I'm a little kinky, what can I say? Okay, let's get this day started. Does it look better if I cover it up with a hat? Maybe it looks better if I cover it with a hat. There we go. That's great. Just smush it down on my head. Anyways, okay, we're heading into town just for a minute because I want to go visit with my dad. Woo, Mac is very lively this morning. But I want to show you, we have some, there's some pretty horses that live right down the road. I want to show you. It's very Montana. I want to know your favorite pretty woman quote down in the comments. My girl Jody the other day was like, you look like Cinda fucking Rella. I'm like, oh my God, you are my best friend. That was my favorite quote from Pretty Woman. My hair looks pretty awful today, 
but I'm gonna put some Cinda Rella energy behind this hair and we are gonna rock it today. We are just gonna go into this day like we love it, like it's the most fabulous thing that's ever happened to us. And I'm mostly curious to see if my dad will say anything. We might have to do a sneaky hidden cam to catch his honest opinion and reaction, which I'm sure he will love me sharing on the internet for all to see because he is a very private person and probably does not want to be in my videos. I don't respect boundaries. So, does Cinda Rella respect boundaries? I don't think so. I don't think so. Just kidding, I do respect boundaries and if he does not want what he says to go on camera, it will not. So I'll let you know. The 80s called, they're like, yo girl, we broke up like 25 years ago. Get over it, get over it. I'm not over it. There's a quote from Pretty Woman that I love that's not even words when she's like, oh yo, oh yo, oh yo, and she's chewing her gum. I love that character, she's so funny. What is her name? I can't remember. So the horses weren't out when I drove by, but I did get some footage of them the other night, so check it out. How beautiful is that? Montana is absolutely gorgeous, like I said, for one month a year. It's the best. I just saw my mom. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hello. I was like, I think I recognize that car. Sorry, I haven't shaved in a while. I'm gonna vlog with T-Rex arms today. Is that okay? Uh, <laughs> Allergy season is a thing here. I'm so allergic to Montana in July. It's not even funny. Always have been, always will be. Hey, guys. Would you like to go meet my dad? <laughs> I'll see my dad. I'll see you. Can you point me toward the hair salon, please? Where's the hair salon? Where are you from? I'm from Kansas. I'm just a little lost. Oh, that's my daughter, Dana. Todd Steinfeld. Oh, Hi. I, I go, which one do you like? You're like, for? who are you? Yeah. Who's yeah, this what the hell? You crazy got some girl. hippie band here? <laughs> I'll be there in a few. Okay. <laughs> oh, my dad went along with it. That's hilarious. I'm also not wearing a bra today. I don't know if small town Montana can handle the hair plus the no bra. Like one or the other, you choose your poison. But when you're walking into small town America, you have to pick your poison. And I have a midriff shirt on. It's just I'm making a lot of poor choices today. Oh, hello. Hi. I didn't know you came in. Hello. <laughs> well, I have three inch heels on too. Thank you. I got my Julia Roberts hair going from the 80s. You know, you didn't have to get all dressed up just to come see us. I did it. <laughs> that was fun. Got to catch up for a second. One of my favorite things about Montana and these little mountain towns, I know Alaska has these too, is the little drive through coffee huts. I love them. I love them. Did my dad call me a hussy? I think my dad called me a hussy. I would expect nothing less from him, however. He's stinky. He thinks he's so hilarious. Hilarious. And today I'm just wearing my cowboy boots. Wait till he sees my actual hooker boots. Excuse me, giant machine. Can I get through, please? May I scooch through? Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. These ones, these little espresso shacks. Do you guys have those where you live? I feel like they would have them in Canada and Wisconsin and Alaska. I don't know why. They're just kind of like little cold mountain town shacks. Damn, this coffee is good. Shit. How many times can I quote that before it gets old? We're going on 480, so 500. All right, today is the day we're finally doing it. I'm gonna go get a latch for my armoire. Hallelujah and amen. I know, thank you, thank you. I'll be here all night. I'm proud of me too. I'm very proud of me too. Uh, we're gonna go to Ace Hardware. Maybe we can find some Velcro. Ace Hardware in St. George had this Velcro that I just, I, I just loved it. It fastened everything to my van. Sweet baby Tim the Tool Man Taylor Jesus. We have found a latch, everyone. I got this sort of gate latch thing. I needed something that would kind of latch on its own when you close the door. So it'll just like clip into there and I'll be good to go. There's a couple other different ones where you can like hook it over, but I feel like I'll forget that just as much as I forget to tie it up now. So this will latch on its own. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try this. There's someone behind me so I have to go, but look at the horsies. They're so pretty. Usually it's super smoky and dry and brown this time of year, but it was snowing up until last month and it's been raining a little bit. So everything's like really pretty and really green. Good Lord, it's beautiful. I just can't do that 15 months of winter thing. 
That's not for me. Uploading my video right now. I'm gonna head out and take a few photos. I'm really trying to grow my Instagram. I used to hate Instagram. Like it was not fun for me to post, but since I've been traveling, it's been super fun for me to post because there's just so many beautiful backdrops and it's way pretty up here at my dad's house. So I'm gonna go put a cute dress on. I put this little bow thing in my hair just so we don't look quite as crazy. We had a lot of volume happening in the front here. Not mad at a little volume, but how does Julia Roberts do it? I don't know. She rocks it like a boss lady. Oh crap, it's actually raining. I thought it stopped for a second. Oh well, I'm gonna go grab a dress out of the van. Dang it, it's actually raining. That's bad news. I guess we're not taking photos, but we're having company over 22 people in a week. And I'm cleaning my dad's house. Cue that montage. you to the hospital tomorrow. So my dad's been fixing stuff around the house and he was fixing his closet and slipped and fell off a ladder and twisted his knee. We have 22 guests coming in three days. We have a situation. Go in here and get some ice packs. So not only did my dad twist his knee, probably sprained it, we're gonna take him to the doctor tomorrow, I think. But he also started getting a cold yesterday, so I just went grocery shopping. When you're sick, you just gotta have homemade chicken soup. Usually it's chicken noodle, but I prefer chicken and potato. Here's all the goods. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so tasty. Time, oregano, herb chicken, celery, carrot, garlic, onion, potato, chicken broth. I sound like I'm sick, but I'm not. It's just allergies. That's another reason I'm not moving to Montana. There's like one good month a year and I blow my nose 90 times a day the whole time. Yeah, no, we don't do that. Usually I'll just buy the chicken that's already cooked, but they don't have it. So I'm actually gonna cook a freaking whole chicken at 10 30 p.m. right now. Just, I won't have time tomorrow. I have shit to do. Oh, hello, Martha Stewart. Nice to meet you. Damn, that chicken smells. Look how colorful and pretty that is. I think I chopped one too many veggies. It's gonna be a big batch of soup. We're just doing the garlic and onion. Usually I'll put olive oil in there, but they don't have any, so I'm gonna use some butter. Butter and chicken soup, okay. Gotta be good, right? I mean, how can that not be good? Come on, in there the veggie. I'd love to cook, but I never ever follow recipes. Cooking for me is more like jazz improv. We don't follow instruction. Oh my God, my allergies are so bad. <laughs> I've been trying to fall asleep for like three hours and I can't breathe out of either nostril, but both nostrils are dripping somehow. And I just sneezed eight times in a row. What the f Montana? I always have bad allergies in Montana though, always. I had pretty bad allergies. <laughs> Oh my god. The pressure. It's probably because I didn't buy local honey in Montana yet. That's probably why. I can't even open my eyes. What the f Montana? What the f On a positive note, I can use up some of this lavender lip butter. I've been just putting it on my nostrils. This shit smells nasty, but I can't smell a goddamn thing. So just gonna use that up. It was like eight dollars and fifty cents. No, it was like it was like three dollars and fifty cents. Oh my god. I just wanna go to sleep. I've sneezed so many times, now I have a headache. Does anyone else get allergies like this? I never got allergies in Los Angeles. Not once. <gasps> Come on, lip butter. I just want to put lavender lip butter on my nostrils. That's all I want. <laughs> Why did they make this fucking child proof? Okay. 
if you haven't filled out the husband application yet, there's a link down in the description. I have pretty high standards, so only serious applicants, please. <laughs> I was looking online how to like relieve sinus pressure and they say this is a good pressure point and then I held it on there for like a minute and I sneezed eight times in a row. So I'm gonna see if I can get myself to sneeze again. Is that a thing? Does this, does this like make you sneeze? I don't know, I feel like my head's gonna explode so I don't think I wanna sneeze anymore. Anywho, this is my night. Oh my God, I'm having a major issue because I can't. <laughs> Oh my god. Tonight's one of those nights when you roll up your toilet paper, you fold it in half and then half again, and you do like a little roll up thing, and then you just shove it right up there. Just, just put it in. This is the only way I'm gonna be able to sleep. Oh, the mood just got sexy in here. This lighting, I tell you what, I think we're getting a little too intimate on this channel right now. Like this, this is a lot. This is a lot for me to share with you right now, but I feel like we're friends. I'm gonna watch some shits Creek and try and sleep, and I'm gonna be a cranky ass bitch all day tomorrow. But now you know why. You'll understand. Now I have to pee. <laughs> I goddamn locked myself out of the house. So I have to pee in the wild. Like a goddamn peasant. And I'm totally on my period, so I'm gonna attract fucking wild bears to my van. What a crock of shit. So what she thought were allergies were actually the midnight mongus. She got so sick she slept the whole next day, but was she able to get the house ready for 22 frolicking family guests? Tune in tomorrow to find out. If you made it this far in the video, write pretty woman down in the comments. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, share it with your friends. See you tomorrow.